All right, so I wanted to show you issue here. I had a no crank, no start, dash lights would always be on um, issue on this truck. Um, no communication with any module whatsoever. So uh, I went ahead and, and hooked up to my GM LAN here and the waveform did not look healthy. Did not look like a normal GM LAN known good that I found. <laughs> so now I have comms with basically all the modules under the sun except for one and I'll show you why. This module right here is the LAN module, excuse me, the battery module. And what this was doing, I have it disconnected now, but what this is doing, it was shorting uh, the whole the whole bus to a higher voltage. Um, so basically shorting it to voltage, disconnected this. I started with the easiest one, and thank God it was this one. It's the easiest one, it's literally right here. So disconnected this. Um, I was able to get regain communications with all the modules. Um, except the PCM uh, I hooked up to the PCM which is this yellow one it goes into the little box which is right here this is where they all meet up all of the, the net all of the modules um, single wire GLAN uh, GM LAN um, communication network they all meet up here all the high-speed stuff like anti-lock brakes PCM etc um, so once I went there I saw that it was just a flat line basically um, of seven volts, which is weird, um, right? It's not a nice clean waveform. Um, you gotta disconnect it, because if you don't disconnect it, that this, um, sorry, I'm all over the place. If you don't disconnect this little white cover, because it's like a little, it connects all of them together, this opens everyone, so everyone's by themselves. And everyone had nice clean waveforms, except the PCM, it had a seven volt short. So, I went ahead and um, came to the PCM and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and check powers and grounds and continuity and ohmage of that wire. I don't like to check ohmage. I like to do drop tests, but on network lines, there's no current going through these lines. So I, I think a, a ohms test is fine. It's valid. And it was, so it, it ohmed out great. Three ohms, you know, normal. You know, that's basically what my leads have, three ohms. So on my voltmeter, which is a, a fluke by the way, not that it really matters. So I went ahead, disconnected the PCM and uh, check for powers and grounds. Oh, here is my network line, actually. I should take that out now, but the, I'll, I pinched it, I'll, I'll seal it up. But that green one right here is the, the GLAM wire for that goes to that little box inside there from the PCM. So that's where I tested it from, from, in here, from right here to over there, the, volt, the ohms test. So I looked at the, I, looked, I was gonna look at the grounds first because there was like a gang of grounds. There's I think six grounds. Uh, all goes towards one guy. Uh, my damn computer just died. Yeah, see, it's a scope too. But it goes to one ground. I think it's G205, 305 or something. Now that ground, I'm sorry, I can't show you no good uh, bus waveform, but my, my computer just died. Um, it's right here. I have my, uh, my, my ground jumper and it's right there. It was open. See this black white wire? It was just there. So I jumped it to ground and lo and behold, the truck started. I was able to get cons with the PCM, no codes. Um, you're only gonna, you're only gonna see a battery light. Um, no other lights, just, just a battery light. Oh, I guess probably the check engine light turned on cause it has no communication with um, this guy right here. So it's, 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 it's throwing out, throwing out codes because of that battery module that's where the battery lights on and uh if we go to engine data here oh, excuse me well we'll get comms of course and it's engine data uh ecu information no trouble codes sorry i'm like trying to do this through my my uh, camera screen here we're just gonna go ahead and wait this wait for this to load up current dtc's uh, oh yeah, I see why. Um, it's because I had the uh, the throttle disconnected for whatever reason. I think I was checking for a 5 volt reference there. Oh, by the way, I did check my 5 volt references. Nothing, as you would expect when uh, grounds are no good. So it doesn't come back because obviously it's good. Uh, no check engine light. 
Um, anyways, so that's pretty much it. Starts up, nice idle. Uh, fun little diag, I guess. I used ATS scope, I, uh, which is my shops and my uh, that I work at, and my Pico 4425A, the new Pico, I guess. I do use that one, but I guess I just, you know, the convenience of the ATS scope is cool because you know I could go to my wiring diagrams, I could do this, this, that, whatever. Go to the scope while it's still recording. So yeah, pretty much it. That's it. Thanks, guys, for watching.